Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and, and good, good night. night. Uh, welcome to another Coffinated. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Deads. We are. And whatever time of day it is for you, it's always a good time for coffee. Oh. There's a tagline for you. like that? Uh, for us, it's morning, so we're going to try some coffee today. We have uh, not had any coffee yet today, so you'll see a shift between where we're at now. To yeah yeah uh today we are trying don jose roastery it is local here uh in rockford illinois so uh i couldn't find a whole lot of information about like their backstory um i am gonna pull up my notes here um other than they are a roastery in rockford illinois bringing you roasted beans from many regions of latin america uh or latin american culture through coffee so yeah. Uh we met them. Oh that was loud. We met them oh. through that was I'm on their webpage. <laughs> um uh we met them the actually at the city market um last year, I think. And that's where I bought this. Um so I'm excited by to last try year it. you mean twenty twenty three. Yeah, sorry. Because yeah. it is currently January of twenty twenty four, so it is barely a new year. Yes, yeah. And we, we met him at the end of the season, so um, it looks like they've ago. been in business since 2022. That's so a, that's a new business. That is a fairly new business. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. That was roasted. It looks like, yeah, in April, and it and you're supposed to use it by April. So uh, we are well within that time frame. We've uh, learned from our coffee adventures that uh, from the time a coffee is roasted, it seems like you typically have one year from that date as long as it is in a sealed, you know bag of sorts yeah to uh use it once you open it though of course why sit on it get that stuff trunk man yeah um we are trying the costa rican blend um i'm not entirely sure if i'm saying these things right but it says a uh, tarazu on it and then um it says the notes i know uh the notes are fruity and bitter sweet chocolate um it says the process was washed and then it has some elevation numbers on here. I'm not entirely sure what all that means. So these are things that we should probably learn someday. We're, we're, um, we're getting more knowledge coffee, as we do this. Yeah, being coffee reviewers. Um, and it looks like it's a medium roast. So oh. you know me. I like uh, medium to light. I she likes like, it at a uh, medium pace. And I like dark. All right. So let's go ahead and try our coffee. Today I have the bride mug. And he's got the Frank mug. Is where the the newly deads and that's our thing. It's a thing. So cheers! Oh wait, clink, clink before, before you, you drink. drink. I said cheers before you chew. Wrong. This is the one now. show we don't. We only do like once a month, and it smells delightful. Yes, when it was brewing, it was. Oh, it smelled so good. Oh, you? That's really smooth. No, ooh, not <laughs> you. Like, <laughs> so I was confused for a minute. I'm like, mm. what is she nuts? I can't remember. Was it the Costa Rican blends that I really liked? I think Colombian. I thought is it Colombian? Mm -hmm. Well, now I like Costa Rican. It's okay to like more than one. You know, this is really good. If you like a coffee. mellow, smooth, not super overly powered, um, you know, dark roast. There's nothing wrong with dark roasts. Don't come at me because I know there's a lot of people who like dark roasts. He loves dark roasts. Um, I like all the roasts. But I, uh, yeah, I like the the more mellow, smooth. I don't know, for whatever. I don't like it super bitter. Yeah, I don't. This is not. This is perfect. It's a pretty, it's a, the thing is, it's got a pretty deep, like, bottom to it. Like, even though it's, it is, I get what you're saying about it being smooth and I was very careful to make sure all the ratios were correct today. Um, but it's got a very earthy kind of deep feel to it. Like yeah. it, it's multi-level like of layer, like if, of flavors. Here's, if here's dark roast right here and here's medium roast. It's like just a shade right above the dark line. Like if, if it was a little bit more, it would be, it would have a darker flavor. Like yeah. it, just like a, it's perfect. A little bit more. It would be dark. I think. It's perfect. I would be really curious to try another bag of it to see if it's like consistent, you know, um, which I, I'm sure it is. But you can buy this on their website. I'm sure uh, Mr. Newly Dead, when he does his editing, we'll, we'll put their information up here for you. Um, but they are located in Rockford. I know they are at, like different markets and like the city market in particular. So if you are a local like us uh, and you want to go find them, 
Um, you can find them on their, their website again, but, um, they, I did see that they do free shipping if you buy two bags, I think. Um, oh, yeah. very nice people that owned it. Uh, yeah, we chatted with them for a little bit. Um, Don Jose dot com. Yeah. Is the location on here. Yep. Uh, and they're, yeah, they roast it here in, in, um, uh, in Rockford on Madison street. I think it says. Yeah. I just, I wondered what other, I'll have to see what other flavors they have. Maybe throw that up there as well. They, they do have uh, like a few different kinds of um, roasts. So it says, and this is something that we, we sometimes talk about if it's on the bag, which it actually is notes of, I said that, what is it? Fruit and, and uh, uh, bitter, bitter chocolate, bitter sweet chocolate. Yeah. So I, I, I guess I'm trying to circle back to that because I couldn't remember what exactly. Oh, you're said. trying to figure out the notes. Like, do, are you getting those notes? Cause I don't taste fruit. We, we always, that's the one thing we always are trying to see if we can get our palates up. Yeah. I'm not, I don't taste like fruitiness, but I do kind of taste the, like the bittersweet chocolatey kind of aspect to it. It's got a really nice like feel on the tongue, like mouthfeel, kind of like a smooth, it's not as like slippy as the, the coffee that I was like slippy. obsessed with for the Galena Roasters one. Oh yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's smooth like that to me. Um, it's not kind of clunky or, you know. I think, uh, chocolate chip without the cookie. That's what you feel like. That's that's the the bittersweet kind of chocolate. That's the note I'm getting. Is it, t- it reminds me of like a a chocolate morsel, like you'd put in oh. a cookie. Is what I'm getting. I don't know that I'm getting the the, the fruit. I don't either, taste the fruity aspect of it, but they, they I say also that a don't, lot. Don't about. quite understand unless it's like like blatant fruit, like when it's like you know, here's a plum coffee or whatever, like a cherry cherry blend. You know, <laughs> then you can actually taste like the cherry <laughs> note to it. But is there plum coffee? I'm sure there is somewhere. Yeah. If there is somebody, let us know. I've never heard of plum coffee. Although it's plum good, but I do kind of like s- smell a little bit of like maybe fruitiness. Hmm. I'm definitely getting the the it's, bittersweet chocolate aspect. I am very sure. happy with this coffee, and I will be happy drinking it all day. And I want to drink it for the rest of my life. She says that quite often, and then we run out, and then we have other coffees we have to try. And then and I'm like, so, oh, there's other uh, there's other coffees out there that I also enjoy, but. We do circle back though. I highly recommend this. And I also uh, highly recommend it because, you know, we like to support our local uh, peeps. So yes, yep. always buy, buy local if, if you can, because there's a lot of great stuff in your own neighborhood that you may not know about. Yeah. And that's what our kind of focus is here, at least with these types of segments is to try and shine some lights on those people. And if you visit our website at the newly com, our brand new revamp website that this is newly dead put a lot of time and effort into. Um, we will be having a section on our blog uh, called Unothering Small Business, where we will be talking about local businesses that are in the artist community and we're hopefully branching out into other areas. So perhaps we'll start also adding in things like Fire Department Coffee or... Yeah, I think Donald's we can Day put Roasters. our coffee reviews on there as well. So, so maybe like we'll a- include them. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Look for that. Uh, I'm because- the video because we have a, a section for our YouTube videos. We do. So, so go check that out and buy local. On a scale of uh, one oh, right. to ten zombies. I'm like, let's drive this bus right off the road. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> stop. Sorry, Where'd you get cap- it? Caffeine is. Uh, one out of ten zombies for this. Oh, I'm going to take one more drink while I think about mm-hmm. it. Do you already know what you're going to say? Yeah. I don't remember what I gave the, the best of the best. Was it a 10 or 11? I think I gave it like a 13. Right. Do you remember that? Like the one with the slippy feel that I was like really super into. I don't remember you giving it something over I think the I did. 10. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to go back. We should really like put this on like a flow chart. We should. It's something my wife likes that sort of stuff. So yeah. maybe you need to do that and go back. Ooh, we can work on it together. But anyway. Fun. Uh, see. So anyway, um, uh, I'm feeling like for me personally, I'm feeling like a seven. I'm feeling a 10. Really? Yeah. Wow. This is like a perfect coffee for me. I, I don't feel like I need to add anything to it. It's well, just that's like, for sure. Yeah. It's not bitter. It's not too light. It's just, uh, it's got a good body to it. It's like, like one of those like really good coffees that you could get, you know, like I feel at like a coffee shop or something like that, that, you know, you're just, that like, I would agree with 100%. Be a really good breakfast coffee. And luckily it's breakfast time. Yeah. Um, I, I, I tend to reserve those for like, 
I, I don't even know what I'm reserving it for because at some point there's going to be more than one that's in that level. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't <clears> have to be like you know just the end all be all. This is the one. Yeah, you know? I, I think the only thing that's kind of detracting for me personally is just that a little bit of the aftertaste is it's not bad. It's just it's you know. Sometimes you get some that you're like, oh, that's pleasant. And sometimes you like some, you're like, eh, maybe I need to drink something else. To get no, the taste out of your but mouth. But it's not that it's a bad thing. Not because me. I like that it. That happens with all kinds of stuff. And that's just a personal preference. Yeah. But. All right. Well, check out our website. It's excellent. Either way. Like Joel said. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs> we should have a fun ending for that. But we really don't. Stay caffeinated. Oh, there you go. Bye. We belong dead.